Hi, in this video I will show how to convert data from SQLite to JavaScript and use it on uh, with JavaScript, with created JavaScript. So, right now I have open um, SQLite database. It's a free app, it's SQLite review, but I will leave link on this app into the description. And it's showing me my contacts table and you can see it contains data with the field uh, first name, last name, middle name, formatted name, organization and all data for uh, from database. Now let's say I have a um, different application that uses this SQLite and keeps all data into um, into database and once um, um, for some period of time uh, this uh, uh, SQLite uh, changed and I can convert it into JavaScript or schedule it to convert it into JavaScript in use on the website. So in order to do that uh, I will use the app uh, I created from a web, from my website and I will leave link on this uh, website in the description. So to do that uh, we can close this. So basically this SQLite file contains only one table, my contacts, and this is the data in this table. So I, I can close it now. Um, this is my website. I've lived on, on this site in the description. To find app, I will type uh, SQLite, click on search and type SQLite. And I need this SQLite to JS uh, app. I'll click on this app, click on the load button to start the loading process and wait until archive will be downloaded on my computer, it's very small, and then click on the loaded archive, double click on MSI inside archive to start installation, and click on more info here. I'm getting the screen from Windows because I'm not registered publisher, you can see publisher unknown, I'll just click run anyway to start installation, click on next, next install, click on yes on the screen, and click on finish. So, uh, you can see app has been installed on my computer, have a new shortcut on my desktop. Now I can close this and close this and double click on shortcut to launch app. Now, to convert SQLite to JavaScript, first it's three steps process. In the first step, I will have to select um, SQLite database I will be using for conversion. I'll click on this button to select input files, navigate and find my contacts uh, SQLite. somewhere in a folder let's, let's go and see. yeah it's a rename test okay. it's in rename test let's go rename test folder and uh, then original original my contact sequence. I'll select this file then after file is selected I will click on next step to uh, go to uh, the option screen on this screen, I can specify, if I want to convert to only one table, I can specify this one, uh, my contacts, because only my contacts in, contains information I want to convert to JavaScript. Also, I can specify convert all tables, so it will create, like, uh, it will convert all uh, all tables and with the, with the data from this SQLite to JavaScript. After, I will, I will just select one table this because we have only one thing. So I click next step. Here I can preview JavaScript uh, that it will create. You can see it has my contact structure with all with all uh, data fields in it. And now I can save result. Click on save result to save it to file. To do that I have a um, I created specific folder and um, call this JavaScript test yes. and you can see it has been saved you can go and open it in um, notepad and you can see all data is converted into JavaScript file now uh, next step 
I want to go to a folder I created. Go there. And I created a um, test HTML file just to demonstrate um, just to demonstrate how uh, I can use data from from this test.js. So if I just double click on it and open it into Firefox, then hit F12 to open JavaScript and so on. So basically our application application did what we uh, what we uh, wanted it creates this test js let's open it in notepad plus and it contains all information from here now i i will show how to use this uh, information from test js and how to access it on the web page so i can go to console and then in the console I have this error because I'm using, I can type, because all, my structure is my data, I can type my data, dot, and then I can go to my contacts, right? see my contacts and then it's showing me that this is array so I can access first record and for example I want to access first name right and I can run this and you can see it says um, Aurelia so I accessing from my first record first name or I can access um, Fifth record first. Can run. Do one. Yep. Fifth record. So this is a basically, and I can access any uh, like entire thing, right? If I run it, you can see that it returns object with uh, first name, last name, and all fields in, in this object. All fields from Excel, uh, from SQLite is converted into into um, javascript and can be accessed from um, from html so let's go and just uh, modify uh, this to show um, first name uh, i can i delete it it's from my previous test so i can put um, zero and then save the page and now when I'm reloading, it's displaying okay. Displaying object because it contains um, it's like entire object in there. Let's put um, first name right. Save, reload, and it returns already. So an error is gone. So basically, yeah, this is uh, we added included we had, uh, in order to use um, to use JavaScript we created from SQLite. We have to put this include instruction first, and here in script we can access uh, uh, data from SQLite by saying my data, then my table, then fields uh, of from this table. Because basically you can have any table with any fields in there, and I don't know which fields you have, but when you type my data here, you will get and just type dot, you will have one or many tables you have chosen to to uh, to convert. So yeah, basically that's it. If you run, if you have any questions or run into any, any issues with the converter, uh, please do let me know in the comments, and I will help you to resolve it. Thank you.